Okay, we'll try this for the umpteenth time to show this. This guy, we're going to record, I mean, going to program a Bofung radio. And this is true, this program, this, I'm going to recommend this program right here, Chirp. Um, and it's uh, real easy to find, it's free. Um, dang, I had it pulled up and I pulled, pulled it down. Chirp software, there we go. Um, here it is. It'll pull up the very first thing. This is what you're looking for, and I'll include all the links. You download it here, and I think, anyhow, it does all these radios. That's why I recommend it. That way, if you end up, you know, with a buddy with a different radio, which is what happened to me, I programmed this radio, this Bofong, which is a buddy of mine, and I hooked up my Waxon or Wushan and uh, uploaded the program that it was in it. Long story short, put it in a spreadsheet, Excel file, and then transferred it to the Bofong, which is was one of the really good things about this program. And also, it um, um, opens up the bands, the MERS, the GMRS, which is like a walkie-talkie, uh, Marine, um, I think that's it, it might be something else. And uh, if you got the factory software, you probably don't need it because it'll come with it. But if you don't, you also need um, the uh, cable drivers. Cable driver. Is this where we want to go? Anyhow, and then you can get the. Uh, it's free. There's a lot of places to get it. I actually. Uh, I think it's uh, yeah, that ain't what we want. Anyway, I ain't gonna worry about that. I'll include the uh, link for that. So uh, enough of that. The links will be below. But here's the software. And um, now let me go back. And of course, my phone goes off. Um, okay. Uh, anyway, the link I include will. Also have instructions if you have problems. Anytime I shut this computer off and turn it back on, I have to reset my cable driver for it to work. Um, and it, it's just a pain in the butt. And it's probably just Windows 8. I cannot stand Windows 8. Anyway, but it includes instructions on how to fix that. You have to fix it manually over time. It, it sucks. Um, so I should have come. I go to com four. Yep, there we go. All right, it's uploading what's on the radio, and I've already programmed this radio. I would have cleared it out, but I've seen warnings not to do that because it screws up something in the radio. All right, so here's here is basically the program. Um, and see, like these are MERS, the first channels I have. Uh, which MERS is a type of free radio system, um, kind of like kind of like buying a CB. I mean, it's like free, um, and you have to put in every one of these little things. And um, I think some of them are already there. Let's go to some channels, not program. Okay, see the that's the default. They may already be there. I can't remember now. Be honest with you. Um, Let's go to some channels I have in. And I, I already got, these are, you're limited on what you can put in there, but say that's fire station, MERS, uh, Marine. I tried to make it so I kind of know what it is. And then here is the, um, I got them marked low here, but I got them set high. This is where you would change on what wattage it would, uh, come out. See like when I click on it, I can make it, you know, high or low. I got it set to high because I never talk on those. If I ever have to talk on those, it'll be a shit hit the fan scenario and I really don't care then. Alright, here's the repeaters that I have programmed in. Um Caesar's head is the number one around here. And so you gotta put in this frequency. Like I said, I don't remember if that was default or not, but none of the None of the towers in my area use a tone, so it didn't, this really don't matter. That's why there's not a number there, because if they have a tone, 
you'd have to put it in there that there's a tone and then at what frequency that tone is you know but since I didn't have one I didn't have to worry about that and since I actually have my ham license and I talk on it you have to put in your offset which is right here and you also have to let it know if it needs to go up or down and all that information is on the internet you just need to search for uh, radio frequencies in my area or, or in in you know name your city uh, and I'll include a link at the at the bottom under this video on what I think is probably the best place and it'll give you all this information right here and all you gotta do is transfer it um, and the other thing about this software see this frequency right here is what they call the prepper frequency and it is a MERS frequency uh, the the number here what frequency what band it's in is MERS and see and I got it set and I think I need to put an offset in that I gotta look that up um, let's see if I do Where's, where we go up to the bottom no I don't have I guess MERS don't have offset if it does I need to look at it and change it but anyway this is the uh, one I recommend and all this uh, information here like SWAT and blah 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 I don't know why that's in there like that I think I need to take that out what in the hell is going on there oh I just changed something I didn't mean to see that I clicked on something. So that's Windows 8 for you. I don't know. I have to go back and check that out. All right. So yeah, it's a good thing I'm looking. Of course, this is if you was broadcasting back, and I wouldn't be broadcasting back to none of these. I mean, I really I need to put this at nothing because I'm not broadcasting back on there. It's illegal to broadcast back on a police. Um, frequency or fire department or anything like that I don't know why it's in there like that I screwed something up yeah see like these are all fire stations I have zero offset in there that way if even if I accidentally hit the button I wouldn't be wouldn't come across the radios um, this is why it's been so hard for me to uh, do this video because this, this is really a time-consuming boring <laughs> thing but anyway here's another thing like skip this is uh, these ones um, that I got skip and not skip that is just when you hit the scan frequency it'll either skip it or it'll check it and these right here I didn't need it to scan because I didn't care about those particular ones um, I said okay but see I don't have these skip these are like this is the repeaters um, and then, yeah and here's like Greenville um, this has to do this is this is this is police band here um, I still don't know why I have that in there like that I need to go back and check that and somehow that's a mistake I think anyway and something I've done is I've skipped spots in here and don't have, this would be the channel numbers, I skip those just so if later on I want to put more in, say I add repeaters in the area or there's some I want to put in here, maybe when I'm traveling, all the repeaters would be in one area and not scattered all over. So as I'm flipping up and down through the channel numbers, I won't have to go from you know 75 to 128 to hit the next repeater I can just add it right here um, and you probably could do that with the factory program too I don't know um, but anyhow that's it in a nutshell it, it, it's really not programming per se like programming computer it's just a matter of filling in these blanks and um, which um, it's free. You can get it online. Let's see. Um, hand frequencies. Anyway, so that ain't what I wanted. 
anyway, you can, uh, let's see if that comes up. Yeah, I'll with it. I'll include another link. But anyhow, that's it in a nutshell. You put it in there, and it, with the Bofong radio, you have to program it with a computer so you can put in whatever you want right here. Um, you know, I can just whatever I want, I could put something in there, and there it is, radio. Um, but, you know, I don't want to do that. So let's take it back out. 0, 0.0. .0. Okay, whatever. Anyway, and then once you get done, you go back to radio up here and you hit upload to radio. And I don't want to mess with it because I already got that in there. Uh, and you'd hit that and it'll just clone it back to your radio and you turn the program off and you're done. Uh, I mean, it's real simple. Um, but the thing about this is, is I can export this to a, uh, or save as, you know, I can save it the, just to, so I can have it in that format or I can, I think I had to export it to go to a, um, yeah, you want it in this CSV file and then you can open that up into a, uh, a uh, spreadsheet and it'll look funny, don't worry about it, but you can open it up, save it and then later on you can put it back or put it on another radio, which is something very cool about this. And uh, Anyway, I've bored you long enough, I'm going to stop right there. Uh, no, I don't want to check, make any changes. Alright, let me 